Uh, so the Cavs dropped their first game since the trade deadline deals. LeBron, pretty good night, 32, 9, and 8. Only two other Cavs, however, scored in double figures. Coach, yeah. was everybody, and I'm looking right at Jalen Rose, <laughs> just a little too excited for the new look Cavs? No, I think they had a right to be excited, you know, but you got to you gotta understand, it's going to go through some ups and downs. They're going to have some bumps and bruises. The Wizards have been playing great basketball. Yes. They're connected, you know, and here the Cavs are trying to find themselves. And you're going to see some ups and downs, but I think at the end of this deal, they're going to come out of the East. Shout out to the Wizards, who was 8-2 without John Wall. Playing great. The reason why I got excited, Beats, <laughs> is that I was watching a basketball team that was probably going to lose in the second round. Right. Mm-hmm. With LeBron James. Wow, when have we seen that? Now I still think they have what it takes to win the conference. That was my enthusiasm about getting two guards, mm-hmm. Clarkson and Hill, a forward in Hood, and obviously a big in Nance. They built out their roster. They did a better job the second time around trading for Kyrie Irving, and they still get their pick from the Nets. The only way they're going to learn is going through some mistakes. They got to figure it out through mistakes, work through it, do it on the fly. By the time they're done with these 23 games, I think you're going to see a very good basketball team. How much can you depend on sort of the new car feeling to get you some wins versus, no, we actually have gelled as a team. This is what we're going to do. You'll see it. You'll know when it, when it turns over, they're going to start dominating teams. And that's when you're going to see that shift from being just a good team trying to figure it out to being a favorite in the East. They're just going to turn loose on everybody, and you're going to see a big run. And you can easily see it in the box score when there are multiple players in double figures. You mentioned it at the start of the segment. There were only a couple of players right. in double figures. When you got LeBron James, a willing passer, a triple-double force, basically on a nightly basis, he's going to find a way to get the ball to the open man. Guys have to be productive. Just like that, you went from they're probably not going to make the finals. They weren't going to make finals. the finals. Hey, the squad wasn't making the finals. And they got guys that are listen now. They had a lot of egos before, so when they started losing, they fragmented. I think they got a group that's, that can be led, and they'll learn from their mistakes. I mean, they, are, those guys were vets and peers. Yeah. So yeah. they're like, you, we, you ain't playing D, we ain't playing D. Yeah, exactly. These you know? young guys are like, whatever you say, no LeBron, God. I'll do it. Look up I to LeBron, I messed they up. idolize them. Yeah, and I it's messed up good. every play. They find themselves <laughs> in a really good spot. Yes, indeed. Yeah. They won. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns leads the league in double double entering tonight. Big Cat. Coming up, Rachel Nichols sits down with the All-Star on taking the next step into prominence. He didn't shoot threes in college. Man.